Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. By Shem Yahushai, by Shem Rakakudash, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And I want to say peace and blessings be unto the whole full elect. All right, so, um, you know, real quick, I want to go through this picture I took, you know, you know while, while I was filling my tank up. And pretty much what you see here is, um, you know, what Esau thinks he's going to do or thinks that, thinks that he's going to fulfill. All right, which is the MOTB. All right. So when I saw this picture, you know, what quickly came to mind with Revelation 13, 13 chapter in the, in the 16th verse, Salakia, you know, and it was very spiritual, you know, that this was up here, man, because this is eventually what's going to happen, man. All right. Where they got it, you know, they got it to where, you know, you're not going to be able, you know, in this, in this instance right here, you're not going to be able to uh, buy gas, you know, you know, in the times to come, you're not going to be able to buy or sell without that uh without the implementation you know in that hand you know in your hand of the uh MOTB all right and, and the spirituality that I got out of this was that the word chip is right there and then you got a right hand right there okay which uh you know if you read uh Revelations 13 and 16 okay you know it tells you, you know what Esau is getting ready to do all right see we don't got the blueprint you know what I'm saying so to speak on you know what's what's getting ready to happen man all right it says chip enabled smart card insert card and wait now it says card right here but we understand that you know eventually this is going to go from a card all right to your right hand man okay and that's what, and again I, I know i thought it was very spiritual that they had the word chip and uh in the right hand all right on the same uh you know on the same block so to speak man you know and and and, and the lord's making it clear that what, what he's getting ready to do all right the lord's getting is making it clear what esau is getting ready to do man all right which we know is the lord doing this anyway man all right because this is his will being done on earth okay but nonetheless you know i want to get the scriptures dealing with this picture man and lord willing this is edifying okay so this is um this is um amos chapter 3 and verse uh 7 it says surely the lord power will do nothing but he revealeth his secrets unto his servants to prophets, man. All right, because Yahweh Shem Yahushah is making it known by the mouth of his servants to prophets, man. All right. See, see the Lord, you know what I'm saying? The Lord, you know, if you read, you know what I'm saying? If you uh, read and understand the scriptures, you see that the Lord doesn't do anything until he, until he has spoken it first, man. You see, which is prophecy. All right. Before the Lord, you know, actually does something, you know, he speaks about, you know, he, he lets it be known to his, uh, you know, to his servants, to prophets. All right. And the prophets go out on the highways and byways, wherever it may be. And let the, and let the public know what's getting ready to happen, man. All right. And, and, and in this time, you know, the prophets are out there on the highways and byways, you know, doing, doing just that, man. All right. And the prophets, you know, who I believe, you know, to, to be the men of the Lord, you know, the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, you know, on down, you know, to the brothers that teach the like-minded doctrine, man. All right? Because we understand that, you know, it really it's not a camp thing, but it's about the doctrine, man. All right? If you're preaching, you know, your about Shem Yahushai and truth and sincerity, man. Hey, the Lord is dealing with you, man. Okay? So, you know, that's why I wanted to get out of this is that the Lord is revealing his secrets, all right, his prophecies unto his prophets, man. All right? And therefore, his prophets are letting it be known to the public what's getting ready to happen, man. Okay? Because what, what does the scripture say? You know, Yahweh Shem Yahushai says, you know, my words don't come back to me void. Let me get that real quick. This is Isaiah chapter 55 in verse, um, Isaiah 55 in verse 11. It says, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void. You see? So, hey, the Lord has have already spoken this, this thing to come to pass, man. And it's not going to return unto me void. It's going to accomplish that which he's pleased as i'm about to read man but it shall accomplish that which i please and it shall prosper in the thing where to i sent it man all right so esau is getting ready to come down with great wrath like the word of the lord says okay he's getting ready to mandate the motb like the word of the, of, of the heavenly father says okay and it's not an if and or but it's getting ready to happen man okay this is um and I really don't got nothing uh, lined up, man. Just going through the spirit, getting precepts that go with the picture that, you know, I got. I took, man. You know, well, this is edifying. Okay, this is 2nd Ezra 9 and 1. It say, 
he answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. And how do we measure the times, man? All right, through the prophecies, you know, through the things happening in the world. You know, we filter it through the scriptures and see, you know, that way, what's going on on the earth? Is it, is it, is it, is it, was it told to happen in the scriptures, man? And like we see, our uproars of the people going on, you know, 80 scriptures is, is a measuring stick, you know, you know, to, uh, you know, the, the pro Salaki. These scriptures are a measuring stick, all right, to, to measure, all right, when the Lord Yahweh will return, man. We don't know the exact day, but we know that we're getting close, man. All right, these, these scriptures is a measuring stick to the end. Let's say it like that, all right. Then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made, okay, because, all right, hey, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh is getting ready to, uh, you know, come down on this earth and bring judgment, man, through his son Yahweh okay. And one of the main judgments that he's going to bring is pursuing to Revelations, the 14th chapter. But I want to get Revelations, the 13th chapter to read, you know, what's getting ready to happen, man. This is Revelations 13 and 16. And it's saying, and he calls if all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. All right. Now, if you want to know, you understand that this is talking about the RFID chip. All right, that Esau, the so-called white man, is getting ready to push. Matter of fact, you know, he done conditioned the people, you know what I'm saying? He done conditioned the people to get used to, you know, swiping cards, all right, to get to get used to using less cash, all right? And eventually, you know, he's going to come out with it and say, all right, let's make your life, you know, come out in the form of, let's make your life easier. Why not put a chip in your hand and you ain't even got to touch, all right? You ain't even got to touch, you know, uh, 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 no, the, these German infested cars, you know, however he may come with, uh, come with it, man. But we know he's coming with a deception, man, to deceive these people to receive the mark, like the, uh, <laughs> like, like the prophecy says, man. You see, and he calls it for all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. All right. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name, you know, and again, I thought this was spiritual, man, because you had a chip right here and then you had a right hand right here. And then it was telling you, it was showing you that, all right, this is what's getting ready to come. All right. If you want to, uh, you know what I'm saying, buy, uh, you know, purchase gas. All right. You're going to need, you know, that chip enabled smart car, as it says. You know what I'm saying? But eventually we understand that Esau is getting ready to, you know, uh, uh, have it to where if you ain't got that uh, chip in your right hand, then... You won't be able to buy or sell. You won't be able to live in a society that this B system that Esau is, you know, uh, uh, getting ready to, uh, you know, set up, so to speak, man. You know? And a lot of Israelites, you know, are going to take that chip, you know, and get destroyed, man. Hey, I was watching a video by a brother in um, Memphis. I don't I don't remember his name, Salakia, but um, he pretty much, you know, his channel is GMS uh, Look Up, but pretty much... It's a video of, you know, some dude that willingly took the MOTB, man, to just get inside his Instagram, man. All right? To log into his Instagram. What was, you know, like the brother said in the video, what's wrong with just opening the app using the passcode? See, that that, that MOTB is a, is a, 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 how can I say this, is a, a convenient a convenient way for these people. It's going to be a, a convenient way for these people, so-called convenient, for these people to actually uh, abide here in Babylon the Great, man. All right, and that's how Esau, one of, one of many ways that Esau is going to deceive these people, man. All right, this is convenient. All right, this is here for you. All right, let's make your life easier. All right, this damn devil is going to deceive these people, man. But I want to say that because, all right, you got people taking the MOTB without, no know, like you got people taking the MOTB willingly, man. All right, not even fighting, and they taking it, man. Showing you that they're in league with the beast, Okay. But it's all good, though, because, hey, the Heavenly Father got a certain judgment coming for those that do take the MOTB, you see? Revelations 14 and verse 9, it says, And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark, and the beast, again, <clears throat> Salaki, the beast is, you know, is native in the EU, with uh, Babylon and Great America within that, you know? Salaki. I, I lost my uh, where I was in this in the script in, in this verse, Salakia. 
If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. Man. So, you know, hey, you take that MOTB, all right? You know what I'm saying? You got a missile with your name on it, man. All right? You're going to be burned with that nuclear fire along with the chariot fire, man. All right, Lord, you know, people think that the Lord is playing. All right, they, they're playing with the word of Yahweh by Shimei Yahweh Shai. They, you know, they're not taking the Lord seriously, man. But when the time come, all right, we're going to see how you're going to get out there, you know, how you're going to survive out there, man. All right, because if you ain't got the covering of Yahweh by Shimei Yahweh Shai, all right, you know, so you're pretty much left out there for the uh, for, for the beasts of the field to eat, man. Uh, 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 you know, parabolically speaking, because Esau is going to devour two thirds of our people, man. All right. This is Revelations uh, 3 and 10. It says, Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. And the hour of temptation is when the so-called white man, Esau, Edom, mandates that chip, man. You know? And the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai says, Salaki, that, you know, he's going to keep all right, those that took heed, those that follow, you know, took heed to his word, those that, you know, trust in him, he's going to keep them from the hour of temptation, man. All right. But, you know, you know, you Israelites out there that don't want to take heed, that think that America is going back to normal. All right. That thinks that ain't nothing, ain't nothing going to happen. All right. When this time come, all right, we're going to see what you're going to do, man. Because hey, it's either, it's either, uh, you know, the, the, you know, the way it's coming, man, the way it's going to happen. All right, so either you take this chip, all right, and and and, and uh, continue in life, here, continue your life here in Babylon the Great, or you reject that chip and suffer until Yahweh shall come back, man. You know, so we pray that the Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahweh shall puts the spirit on us to suffer, all right, to 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 endure this suffering until our Lord Yahweh shall come back, because you got a lot of Jakes out there, that, you know what I'm saying? That didn't take heed, or right, didn't take this uh chip seriously, man. All right. And are going to take that chip because they were weak, all right? And, and eventually, you know, the Lord is going to come back with judgment and destroy everyone that took that damn chip, man. All right, which is the, the MOTB that the scriptures speak of, you know? So that was pretty much the point, man. I just want to bring it out. That it was spiritual that you had the word chip in the right hand on this uh picture, all right? And we just wanted to bring it out through the spirit of empower of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai because, you know, with us, everything is spiritual, man. You know, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shad and opened our eyes up to see, uh, you know, the things happening within Babylon the Great, you know, and can and, and can link it with prophecy, man, which is a beautiful thing, you know. So with that, Lord willing, this is edifying to the hopeful elect. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shad, Bashem, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and peace and salutations be unto the hopeful elect. Until next time, I say Shalom and Ababa Ball.